Building Goodness Foundation is a nonprofit organization that does construction work locally in Charlottesville and internationally in Haiti and Guatemala. Architects, engineers, builders, plumbers, electricians volunteer for the good of the community. I appreciate each and every nail that they have driven and every old raggedy door that they took away from here. COVID made us reevaluate how we could make more of an impact locally. So that's what we ended up doing was rolling out the new fund called Sevo Builds. It was specifically focused on helping folks during the pandemic who were struggling and also supporting local organizations and companies that were working for racial equity. Jackson P. Burley High School, the second African-American high school of Charlottesville, Virginia. And that feel out there is a part of the history. What position did you play when you were playing football here back in the 60s? Defensive tackle. I never played in an empty stadium. Bleachers full of people. Bleachers full Families. of people. Being able to help the Burley Varsity Club get things back to where they were when they used this field was absolutely amazing. Whether it's helping another nonprofit or helping a local small business or helping a low-income homeowner, we are increasing access to opportunities. Being able to just offer that support helps so much. That's one of the reasons why we're sitting in this gazebo. One of our members who needed that support, he wasn't able to get that. People can come out here and have one-on-one -on -one sessions. We're so grateful that we have it. This community is strong because of nonprofits like Building Goodness Foundation. They are invested in what happens not only at the Botanical Garden of the Piedmont, but what would happen at Community Bikes. The platforms that Building Goodness Foundation did for us, it's been, it's been in, in, insanely helpful. For us, shelving was a very big thing. This was a great investment in allowing us to be more efficient. You raised the money ahead of time. That allowed us to more quickly and efficiently respond to the community needs. We wound up completing 22 projects for $135,000 in the last year. And those project costs were down a half to a third of what they should have been. We have decided to do the same thing for our international program. Instead of raising money project by project by project, we are setting up an account for Haiti, an account for Guatemala. We have a higher, sort of a more sophisticated way of managing projects and follow up our discovery of a need with action way more quickly. In Haiti, we're going to support education, economic opportunities, and health. In Guatemala, we're going to focus on education, also economy, jobs. One of the side goals was that we can train people to have a profession. We'll send experts at key phases from the states, but we hire locally. And we always do it with partners. We don't just go into a community and decide what they need. We work with partners in communities where there is a clear need. Hay escuelas donde no se les brinda seguridad a las niñas de querer tener este colegio y poder brindar esta educación de calidad que es básicamente lo que lo que soñamos como equipo de Horizonte. A lot of what sets BGF apart as an organization is that they've really been boots on the ground in these communities for over two decades. Part of what all of our job is in the next five to 10 years is really bringing in the next generation of BGF volunteers. So we're able to actually see people enjoying our work and if that doesn't give you a sense of pride, I'm not sure what will. If you look at the land when we bought it and you see it right now, people who see, they have hope. Building goodness will give you their heart 
their time, their energy, their labor. And I didn't mean to cry, <laughs> I didn't, but these are tears of joy.